What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. In today's video we are continuing with our Naruto 20th anniversary celebration with another most wanted Naruto Funko Pop video. Today, the Akatsuki. <sighs> Alright guys, welcome back to another Most Wanted Naruto Funko Pop video. This is the second in a series of these videos. The first we did last week was the Konoha 11. This week, as I said, is the Akatsuki. And I really wanted to do this series of videos because there are a plethora of characters that Funko can make into Pops. We do already have, I think, like 70 plus Pops. That does include some Boruto characters. Of course, some characters also have like Chase variants, Glow in the Dark variants, etc, etc. But yeah, 70 plus and there are still a ton of characters they can make. And so to make these videos easier and not super long, I've grouped everything together as I said Connor 11 in the first video the Akatsuki here in this one so I've taken this directly from Narutopedia I've got my trusted laptop here if you are wondering uh, what I am pointing to so Akatsuki literally meaning dawn or daybreak was a group of shinobi that existed outside the usual system of hidden villages over the course of several decades Akatsuki took different forms and was led by different individuals though each iteration is viewed as either subversives or criminals all seek to make the world a better place through their own means. Each Akatsuki tended to have multiple layers across the world inaccessible either due to their remoteness or the various security measures that protected them. So we have three members of the Akatsuki currently in the Funko Pop format. We have two versions of Itachi. Well, I guess we actually have four versions of Itachi, although two of them are a common and chase version of Itachi when he was in the Ambu Black Ops. We have two versions of Pain as well as Toby, leaving us with the other seven members. And now I know there were more members than this over time. We have the original iteration of Yahiko Zakatsuki, and then with Nagato Zakatsuki, there are a couple of other characters. I think one was maybe even like anime only. And of course, Orochimaru was a member for a time. But for this video, we are focusing on the seven other core members of Nagato's Akatsuki that we see throughout the anime. Or is it eight if you consider white and black Zetsu as individuals? Either way, let's get into our first character. And actually, one more thing to say, guys, we are going to be checking out some concepts by Rivox Relic, an awesome Fungo Pop concept artist over on Instagram. Go and give him a follow, show him some love. He's a really awesome concept artist, like I said, particularly when it comes to anime. And that first character is going to be Kisame Hoshigaki. I'm actually going to go in order of when we meet each member in the anime. And we actually first met Itachi and Kisame in the first anime before Naruto goes off to train with Jiraiya and then returns in Shin. Shippuden. Kisame dubbed the monster of the Hidden Mist and former member of the Seven Ninja Swordsman before joining the Akatsuki. He had this really cool shark-like appearance, he was a master of water release techniques, and he actually possessed high levels of chakra reserves, I believe more so than any other member of the Akatsuki. And that high level of chakra combined with his trusted blade Samihara also earned him the moniker Tailed Beast without a tail. Well, I say trusted blade because in actual fact Samihara, which itself is alive, actually betrayed Praise Kisame and aligns itself with Killer B after developing a taste for his chakra. Regardless for the Fungo Bob, I would like to see him present with Samihara because it completes the look. Whether it is wrapped on his back or unwrapped in his hand, you know what? I actually think unwrapped would be cooler to see Samihara in all its glory. Akatsuki robes, of course, being donned as well. Yeah, this has the potential for a really cool pop. Next up, we met Deira and Sasori during the first story arc of Shippuden, the Kazakagi rescue mission. And so we'll start with Deira first because we saw him in action before Sasori. A former member of the Explosion Corps from the Hidden Stone Village turned rogue shinobi. I think he was one of the more recent members to join the Akatsuki at that point of Shippuden. And I was actually quite a fan of his. I liked his loud, brash way and his interesting explosion release Kekai Genkai, allowing him to create his explosive art. Coupled with those two gross mouths on his hands, he could consume and infuse clay with his explosive chakra and then mold it into a number of shapes as well as creating clay clones before detonating them. He also single-handedly took down both Gara and Isabo the Three Tails so he was definitely a force to be reckoned with before he kind of just blew himself up trying to take Sasuke with him. As it relates to his pop, this concept by Rivox Relic would be really cool with the eye scope mouth on his hand, which we didn't actually get with the Enmu Demon Slayer pop, by the way. But another cool idea would be him as a pop ride atop one of his clay birds. Yeah, that could look really sick. Then we have my man Sasori, as Deidara likes to say, the puppet master who doesn't like to be kept waiting. A rogue shinobi from the Sam Village aptly named Sasori of the Red Sam for the amount of blood he spilled during the Third Shinobi War, essentially turning the Sam red. Like all 
members of the Akatsuki, Sasori had some pretty unique abilities as well as a tragic backstory, losing his parents at a young age and then effectively remaking them as puppets. Trained by his mighty and powerful grandmother Lady Chiho, he became one of the most powerful puppet users in Shinobi history, crafting several puppets, including the three that Kankuro went on to use. His fight with Lady Chiho and Sakura during the first story arc of Shippuden was pretty epic and the most we got to see in terms of puppet jutsu. We also discovered during that fight that this wasn't Sasori's true form and was a puppet named Hiroku, serving as both his armor and his weapon, albeit Sasori had essentially turned himself into a puppet too, hence keeping his youthful appearance. For this Funko Pop, you've actually got a few options. Originally, I was thinking the Hiroku puppet could look a little bit weird until I saw this awesome concept from Rybox Relic once again. His favorite and most powerful puppet to use was that which he made of the third Kazakage, so that could be pretty cool as some sort of deluxe, or you could even have one of his true form, maybe that as a chase variant. And speaking of chase variants, this next character, in my opinion, has the best option as a chase for any Akatsuki member. I am, of course, talking about the most polarizing Akatsuki member, Hidan. In fact, I don't know if polarizing is necessarily the correct word to use, as he was quite a popular character, similar to Deidara. I loved how Brad and loud he was. I actually think he was the newest member of the Akatsuki Pride Toby, but you can't help hate him too for taking out Asuma Saratobi. A rogue ninja from the Hidden Steam Village and worshipper of Jassine who was virtually immortal. I say that because I read online that malnutrition is an exception, which I'm not sure came up in the anime unless I am mistaken. If I am, please let me know in the comment section below. But we did indeed see him get decapitated and retain the ability to speak but not have any control over his body until his partner Kakasu reattached his head for him. And it is actually actually the reason why he was paired with Kakazu, despite their obvious animosity towards each other, because Kakazu actually had this really, really bad temper. He killed a bunch of his previous partners, but he of course couldn't kill Hidan. Hidan's jutsu was also really unique. He essentially became a living voodoo doll when acquiring and consuming his enemy's blood, to the point he can also kill them by impaling himself. I mentioned Hidan was primed for a chase variant because you can have him with this regular appearance and then do a chase variant with his his grim reaper-like appearance similar to this concept by yes Ravox Relic once again another cool little feature that could add to this is actually making a base with the Jashin symbol in blood that could look really cool next up we have Hidan's partner Kakazu completing what is known as the zombie combo for the fact that neither could die without going to serious lengths a rogue ninja from the village hidden in the waterfall prone to outbursts of rage and violence he actually killed several of his former Akatsuki partners before being paired with with Hidan. Unlike his brash impulsive partner though, Kakazu was more cautious and tactical, never rushing into battle, perhaps this coming from his experience due to his advanced age. Having failed an assassination attempt on the first Hakage and god of Shinobi, Hashirama Senju, he was harshly imprisoned by his own village which drove him to hate them, escape, kill all the elders and steal their forbidden techniques. One of those being the Earth Grudge Fear which allowed him to manipulate his body, essentially like a ragdoll with these grey tendrils, which allowed him to perform both mid to long range attacks as as well as healing and sewing up injuries. The reason he retained his youthful looks and strength was down to the ability to pierce the bodies of his foes and remove and integrate their organs into his own body, particularly hearts of which he actually kept five at any one time, essentially requiring him to be killed five times before he was truly dead. Possessing Earth Chakra Nature, his other four hearts contained fire, lightning, water, and wind, allowing him to essentially use five natures at once. The four hearts were stored inside animal masks, sewn to his back, and he could also detach them to form bodies of their own entirely composed of chakra threads to attack separately. Like it done, there are a couple of options for a Funko Pop for the Akatsuki Treasurer. We could have him in a pretty standard pose, with his Akatsuki robes and face covering. We've also got the option of having him disrobed with the masks on his back. I think that could be really cool, especially if one of them was destroyed, because Kakashi did, of course, destroy one of them with the lightning blade. Or you've even got the option of doing a deluxe with all of the forms out of their body, the chakra threads, wearing the masks. I mean, that might be a lot to ask for, but I think that could look really sick. Next up guys, we met Conan, I'm pretty sure anyway we met Conan before Zetsu, at least in the anime, a shinobi from the Hidden Rain Village and founding member of the original Akatsuki, and the only female member, or I should say, Konoichi. Along with Yahiko and Nagato, they started the Akatsuki after training under Master Jiraiya as a quest for peace throughout the shinobi world, though with their rankings growing, they ended up on the radar of Hanzo of the Salamander, the leader of the Hidden Rain Village. Feeling threatened by their rise, he kidnapped Conan and then ordered Nagato to kill 
kill Yahiko in exchange for her life. Unwilling to kill his friend and Conan willing to sacrifice herself, Yahiko actually stabbed himself on Nagato's kunai as a sacrifice, all of which was the catalyst for the newer, cold and callous Akatsuki, albeit one that was manipulated somewhat by Obito, who was somewhat manipulated by Madara, who was somewhat... You know what, guys? Let's not get into that. I thought Conan was a really cool character. Smart, calm, level-headed, and without question, the most empathetic member of the Akatsuki. She also had this really cool paper jutsu, creating the Shigakami dance, essentially allowing her to transform her body and clothing into thousands of sheets of paper. She could then shape and manipulate that paper into multiple objects, such as spears and shuriken for attacking, butterflies for spying and intelligence gathering. She could also capture and blanket opponents in paper, even asphyxiating them if she wanted to. She also had the ability to make paper clones to fight in her place, even hiding explosive tags within those clones. Aptly named Lady Angel by members of the Hidden Rain Village, due to the paper wings she could form on her back, for me that would make the coolest of Fungo Pops for her on one of those floating bases. I think Skittle Rampage might actually have had a custom of her in his collection like this. Though if Fungo ever did decide to make her, knowing our luck, they'll probably make her holding paper flowers or something like that. Our final member of the Akatsuki is Zetsu, who is actually half of two characters, one half white Zetsu and the other half black Zetsu. Now given this, it's a little little difficult or maybe like more time consuming to go into everything about this character. I mean it's two in one like I said so I'm not going to spend as much time on him plus I wasn't really a huge fan of the character either. White Zetsu though could be a little humorous at times with his playful chatty traits whereas Black Zetsu was much more serious. Zetsu's main function at least as it related to Akatsuki operations was as a spy. Using the infiltration technique Mayfly he could merge his body with the ground and flora and travel at very high speeds using plant roots and water veins to get to his destination, as well as concealing himself. The only member of the Akatsuki who could control his body while taking part in the Tail Beast sealing ritual, he could also serve as a lookout and was also sent to devour the bodies and collect the rings of dead Akatsuki agents so as not to reveal any of the organization's secrets. When the two bodies are merged, they have this Venus flytrap-like plant protruding from their body, and I think this would make for a pretty unique cool pop. It would certainly be my choice for a Zetsu one, even though we could have singular white Zetsu and black Zetsu figures, but for me personally, I'd take tons of other characters before they did that. And so that is all my ideas for future Akatsuki Fungo Pops, guys. But just before we get out of here, take a look at this last one concept by Rybox Relic of the Akatsuki Orochimaru. Look how cool that looks, guys. I would definitely buy that if they ever made it into a pop. But alas, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. First and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments below with your ideas for a cut ski fungo pops. And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. We'll be continuing our Star Wars celebration this weekend by taking a look at some kind of remote control droid. I can't entirely remember the name of it. The professor knows more about it than I do, but I think it is going to be a fun one. We are, of course, continuing our Naruto 20th anniversary celebration. To be perfectly honest, I don't think I'm going to fit all the content uh, into this month. We don't really have a lot left of the month. So like the Star Wars celebration, the Naruto celebration will continue for the rest of the year. And I will be opening up some more Naruto Kaio cards next week. We've got more Fungo Pop unboxings, tons and tons of content, like I said, coming for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned? It's very simple. Subscribe, hit click, smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you guys don't miss out on any of that future content. Thanks again for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.